Greetings, peoples, and welcome back to the Sonic Mania playthrough. And, oh no. Knuckles. You forced me to make that joke. Just kidding, the game didn't force me to make that joke. I'm just mad on the ribbon. Uh, here we are right now in, um, Marad Saloon. Probably my favorite level in the entire game. I just l absolutely love, love this level. It, it's just, it, it's everything Sonic to me. Or this zone, I should say, not just this one level, although this level is pretty great. Considering how much nostalgia I have for Sonic 2, even though Sonic 2 is still, still a great game. I just love, love seeing the tornado again and the Sky Chase-esque level that's still so much better than Sonic 4. And I'm a little nod to the uh, OVA. That was intentional with knowing the development team. It probably was uh, with Tails wearing his goggles that he wore in the OVA when piloting his plane. Oh, I love this music too. This, it it sounds like all I can say about this level is it's so sonic. Like, th this gives me like. Th this gives me so many like. Old, like classic to adventure like vibes right now when that electric guitar kicks in right there right there electric guitar oh here it is coming up oh right there oh that's so good right there that that's just adventure to me that just that feels sonic that feels so sonic I don't know how I put it like th this isn't just generic dubstep slash techno like remixes it, it, this is like Sonic it's like you got all the instruments you got you get the guitar you did the jazz the, 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 the pop you, you got everything um this doesn't have any cheesy knuckles rap which is uh kind of a disappointment. I, I want there to be a Knuckles rap. That's that's a one thing that keeps this game from being a 1 out of 10 for me. Yeah, I know what I said. Without a Knuckles rap, this game's a 1 out of 10. Knuckles raps just give every Sonic game the instant 10 out of 10 bonus. That's why Sonic Adventure and Adventure 2 are the greatest games of all time. Okay, I'll stop now. I, I can't. I can't. Adventure, Adventure 1 and 2 are good. Not perfect. I like Adventure 1 more than 2. Fight me. But, I don't know. It's my opinion. Anyway, we're at this, uh, warm boss right here, and, uh, yeah. It's done. I, I don't get what people's problems were with that. I, I don't get it. It's easy. One of the few examples right here of me actually messing around with the goalposts. If you thought Act 1 was good, with the whole amazingness of it, that's a word. Go in here, go in here, bark. I got the lamest one. Seriously? Yeah, right there you can see their bean bark or fang. Uh, obscure Sonic characters from Sonic the Fighters and in Fang's case, Sonic Triple Trouble as well as Sonic Drift 2. Basically old Sonic games, and, uh, yeah, they're, they're back, kind of, for this game. I'll get into that in a little bit. Got poster swarm right here. Yeah, just... I got, the, I got the lamest one. I was hoping for Fang or Bean, but of course I get Bark. Probably the lamest one out of Team Hooligan. Follow the RP Comics, which, uh, no longer exists. Now we got RDW, which... I have hopes for. I have hopes for. I'm, I'm skeptical, but I'm optimistic as well. Um, but as we get focused on uh, Mirage Saloon Act 2, oh, probably my favorite level in the entire, like, I, I'm not sure if I can say my favorite level in the Sonic series, but I know it's definitely up there. This just has perfect level design. Absolutely, like, astounding. 
I'm, I'm still amazed at what Christian Whitehead, Simon Tomley, and all the others who worked on this amazing game. I, like, kudos to them. Seriously, th this is just outstanding. This game only took a year and a half or so to make. Just blows my mind every time I think of that. Right here in this uh, run of the level, I decided to do a bit more exploring because usually I only stick to one path, but I decided, nah, I'm going to explore this a bit more than what I usually do, and I actually found a lot of new stuff that I had before, like, for example, a few, like, special rings. I don't know why I'm still looking for them. I usually have them all at this point in the game, but whatever. I need, a, I need as many rings as I can, even though I don't need them at all. I love this enemy right here, the spinning, chasing enemy, Badnik, taken, taken straight out of a Springyard zone. Which, it was annoying back then, and it's less annoying now, actually, even though it, like, follows you and actually, like, you'd think it'd be more annoying, but no. It, of course, they, the development team of this game found a way to make it interesting and make it a good enemy. Like I, I'm, I'm, run, I'm honestly running out of things to to praise this game for because I, I've gone through everything. This game's too perfect. I can't think of anything bad to say, anything negative. It's like I'm, I'm trying to think of stuff to say. I'm trying to be entertaining. I'm trying. I'm honestly trying. But no, I, I, I just can't. It, it's, this game's so perfect. I'm honestly speechless. Like, this is, this is hard for me. Do you have any idea how hard it is to commentate over a game that's so perfect that all you can say is, I love this game? It's hard. Either way, uh, we are at the final, wow, final boss. Yeah, we're at the final boss, everybody. This is the final part of Sonic Mania. Um, but we are at the boss of Murad Saloon where the, uh, yeah, the hard-boiled heavy of this act has a gimmick where they transform into various obscure Sonic characters, like I described earlier, Bean, Bark, Bang. Yeah, these are illusions though, they're not the actual characters, which uh, Sonic Mania Plus has uh, Mighty and Ray, which we're, we're getting all the obscure Sonic characters. Soon we're gonna get, like, Honey the Cat. I appreciate anyone who knows what Honey the Cat is. But yeah, that was Murat Saloon, my favorite level in this game. Gotta listen to more of this music, it's too good. But yeah, that was the end of Act 2, everybody. And I will see you next time in the next part of Sonic Mania. I'll see you guys then.